we are going to talk about management of obesity and its complication <clears throat> so ajay has uh, rightly told that i have to finish it up in couple of minutes i would do that so uh, see let us think about a patient came with chest pain uh, and um, he thinks that probably obesity is the problem that i am having so let us see it in this perspective that when a patient comes with some complications and he he is obese uh, he is the right frame of mind and we have to find out what is relevance of treating obesity in such patients so patient has got pre diabetes hypertension ischemic heart disease and osteoarthritis two previous attempts to decrease weight loss at best what he was able to achieve weight loss by 5% weight loss was not sustained and then he has not previously been interested in other forms of treatment of diabetes his bmi is 40 weight is 130 kg he recently was suffering from angina and that's why he has come to you and now he is motivated to lose weight with lifestyle intervention he has managed 4% body weight loss he wants to explore further options so which obesity related complications do we really encounter in our in our uh, clinics let us think about it so this was a study a finnish study which told us about the relative uh, one minute hi okay so which told us about uh, uh, the relative risk of uh, developing type 2 diabetes patient based on obesity and pre diabetes so in absence of diabetes if a patient is obese there is around 5% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes if patient has pre diabetes around 7% increase and if patient has both obese patient having pre diabetes it in times higher risk of developing diabetes it's just telling you that all those risk of developing diabetes mi cva in patients with diabetes or pre diabetes they are increasing if patient has pre diabetes there is increased risk of cv and mi which is more in comparison to pre diabetes which is yet more than those who are normal and over the time these have been increasing gradually the study says that what benefits i do get if i lose weight so with 0 to 5 up to 5% of body weight loss there is significant improvement in hypertension and hyperglycemia 5 to 10% body weight loss improvement in nfld dyslipidemia 10 to 15% cardiovascular disease obstructive sleep apnea osteoarthritis of disease and when you talk about type 2 diabetes or emission cv mortality and heart failure with presence ejection fraction body weight has to decrease by more than 15% these are the results from a step three trial which shows the beneficial effect of using semaglutide in terms of waist circumference systolic blood pressure c-reactive protein and triglyceride level look ahead trial also suggested that there are benefit in terms of four point major adverse cardiovascular event and secondary outcomes also when there is weight loss of more than 10% so these points are favoring if there is more than 10% of body weight loss you can see all these benefits being proven there are results from different studies which has shown that with the use of different glp1 receptor agonist except alexazinatide uh, in elixir trial all those uh, glp1 receptor agonist did so beneficial effect on cardiovascular uh, outcome in patients living with type 2 diabetes i would here refer to leader trial sustain 6 trial and pioneer 6 trial you can see the impact similarly select trial is being designed where the uh, semaglutide in the dose of 2.4 mg once daily is being given to non diabetic people it will be on less than 6.5 but those who are obese and overweight and uh, it is being evaluated to measure the effect of uh, this drug on major adverse cardiovascular event and uh, cardiovascular death so to say that these patients will get hugely benefited in terms of their cardiovascular outcome if we are able to manage weight adequately and now the patient index patient that i was talking about obese patient with osteoarthritis came with angina now he has become serious for losing weight let us use use this opportunity and let us use the evidence that we do have in improving their obesity and improving the overall outcome of the patient thank you very much for your patient hearing thank you hosts for giving us the opportunity